Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. So this week we've got valley rafters. Uh, we're starting the common rafters on the gable end front wall uh, that you saw at the end of the last video. So slightly different pattern on this. As you can see on the right hand side we've used one of the old common rafters from the front here to get the lengths right and the height right because we unfortunately had to take down the whole of the gable end here. Uh, when we changed over the lintel above the window because the masonry was uh, cracked through and absolutely useless. So to get the heights correct we've copied those rafters. So similar to the common rafters we did at the front, once we get them right, so once these two are in the right place we use uh, one of them as a pattern and then copy it up along. As you can see on the bottom right here or bottom left the bird mouth it wasn't quite sitting nicely. We've got a bit of masonry sticking through. Unfortunately one of the problems with doing refurb work or trying to match the old with the new and all this sort of thing is you get these odd bits and you have to trim and this is what takes up the time. But once it's trimmed away, it fits nice and snug. And then we can take away the temporary support for the ridge. And it's holding itself together. Always a bit of adjustment, getting the ridge absolutely level. But at least with the two rafters either side, makes it all nice and sturdy. Again, a nice and vertical. And we've already done the horizontal, but just double checking it. Benefit being to the mitre saw, once it's set and got the angle on the end, just a repeat job. And you can just keep cutting away at it. Jigsaw once again to cut the bird's mouth. And like I say, as long as you're going in at a decent angle, it tends to mean that the blade doesn't bend away and you get a nice vertical cut. and then they all slip in lovely. So before we put the valley rafters in, just fixing the ends of the rafters with the v-shape on sitting over the steel so we're just screwing those into the timber that's been fixed to the steel stop us knocking them and moving them out of place i mean to be honest with you all the load is coming down and it's sitting on the steel so once the tiles and everything on there they're going to be they're going to be held in place just by the the sort of vertical weight So it's our labelled, just dying up and getting the, getting the line in place for the valley rafters to hit. Measuring the angle for the all important cuts on the valley rafters as worked out by Claire. 
offering up the first one that we, we cut, make sure it fits in place. And there you can see the compound angle we have to cut. So all the angles at the ends are exactly the same, so one for each side of the roof. And then we just cut them to length once we've measured down. So once the spacings are worked out and we measure down, we just cut them to length. Making sure we're sitting level. And then the last one goes in. few of those jobs that need doing so once again fixing down with those spax bolts into the wall plates and also trimming off ends of the joists just getting them out of the way so finishing off and neatening up So we get to that point where we're getting a bit close to being ready for battens and Tyvek across the top. So now the front's a bit more sorted, start working on the dormer. So we're measured out for the sole plate to go in across the floor joists. So just cutting those to length so that when the 9mm uh, external OSB goes down, it runs past and seals up the end. So this is the same size as the wall structure, so it's 150mm by 50s. And this is then fixed down into the joists. Where it goes across the masonry, we'll drill down and then chemical bolt the salt plate in place. So weather was a bit against us here, we kept getting downpours of rain. So it made for a bit of a poor day as far as construction goes. Or well, a few days to be fair, and that, that, that and the wind seemed to be against us. So here we got the tower out. Uh, because we're working out the dormer heights where the uh, raft of roof rafters were going to go uh, we needed to get the 2.1 of the doors in the back meaning we needed to shift stuff about and move stuff around so the tower just makes life a load easier So we're sort of levelling up, cut the first timber, making sure it all, all fits in place and then checking the levels at midpoint. Before we started cutting too many pieces of timber. Once we've done that we put the template together so on top of there you've got the lintel slash wall uh, wall plate for want of a better word but it's basically a lintel running all the way along so that goes across the openings for the doors the window uh, across the back area so that's a 170 mil on end timber and um, just making sure we get the height in there so that we have the 2.1 of the door openings i think it's about the hardest bit getting started once you've got a bit of structure up, you can build from it. So it's, it's getting this first bit in place, up and level, when it's all sort of rocking around and a bit loose. 
but now you can see we've got the corner in place got a few uprights couple of noggins so these are the last double verticals going in before the door opening so we battled through the wind and the rain for the week and got ourselves to another weekend as always thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one